Let us be a temple attending people. Attend the temple as frequently as personal circumstances allow. Keep a picture of a temple in your home that your children may see it. Teach them about the purpose of the house of the Lord. At the time of Jesus Christ, the temple of Herod at Jerusalem was the center of religious life and learning for the Jews. A thousand years before the Savior, Solomon's temple was the crown jewel of Israel's greatest age. But even Solomon's temple was modeled after another. By going further back in time to the time of Moses, we can see a type of portable temple used by the children of Israel in the wilderness, the tabernacle. Like the temples which followed it, the tabernacle was the place where the children of Israel learned of the ways to eternal life. Let's take a tour of the tabernacle and see what we can learn. This gate in the east wall is the only entrance and leads us into the outer courtyard. Within the outer courtyard and in front of the tent of the tabernacle is the altar of sacrifice and the labor. This is the altar of sacrifice where burnt offerings were made to the Lord. The person bringing an animal to be sacrificed would first dedicate it to the Lord before it was slain and placed upon the altar. Sin and peace offerings required only the fat of the animal to be burned. The meat was eaten by the priest later. For a burnt offering, however, the entire animal was placed upon the altar and consumed by fire. Here, between the altar of sacrifice of the tent of the tabernacle, is the laver. The laver is made of brass and contains water. The officiating priests were required to perform washings here before entering the tent of the tabernacle. We will now enter the tent of the tabernacle. The tent is made up of two rooms. This first room, called the holy place, contains the candlestick or menorah, the altar of incense, and the table of shewbread. Behind the altar of incense is the veil that separates the holy place from the second room called the Holy of Holies. We will talk more about the Holy of Holies later in the tour. The Lord described to Moses the design for this candlestick. Each of the seven branches holds an almond-shaped cup. Each cup contains olive oil and a wick. The candlestick provided light for the holy place and was kept constantly burning. The altar of incense sits here in front of the entrance to the Holy of Holies. At this location, each morning and evening, the high priest would come and burn incense. This is the table of shewbread. Twelve loaves of unleavened bread were kept on this table throughout the week. Each Sabbath, the bread was changed, and the priests ate the loaves that were removed. Jewish tradition holds that cups of wine were also kept on the table along with the bread. This linen veil separates the holy place from the Holy of Holies. Embroidered on the veil in purple, blue, and scarlet are embroidered figures called cherubim or angels of God. We now enter the Holy of Holies. In the center is the Ark of the Covenant. The high priest would only enter this room once a year on the Day of Atonement. The Ark of the Covenant is the most sacred object of the tabernacle. Inside are kept other sacred objects, including the stone tablets of the law given to Moses on Mount Sinai. The lid is called the mercy seat or seat of atonement. It is made from pure gold and features two cherubim. On the day of atonement, when the high priests entered the Holy of Holies,